Welcome to Nurses Note YouTube. Today topic is Thrombolytic Management for MI. Subscribe our channel. The criteria for the administration of thrombolytic therapy are as follows. 1. History compatible with MI. 2. Onset of symptoms within the last 12 hours. 3. Diagnostic ECG changes as below. ST elevation of at least 2 mm in two adjacent precordial leads, V2 V6. ST elevation of at least 1 mm in two limb leads, I, 2, 3, AVL or AVF. LBBB, presumed or proven to be new. Evidence of true posterior infarction. Low voltage ST elevation of just 0.5 mm in the posterior chest leads is sufficient to diagnose STEMI. For no contraindications to thrombolysis. Thrombolytic regimens for STEMI. Tenecteplase single IV bolus given over 10 seconds plus heparin for 24-48 hours. Weight adjusted. 500 to 600 mg per kg. 30 mg if weight less than 60 kg. 35 mg if weight 60 kg to less than 70 kg. 40 mg if weight 70 kg to less than 80 kg. 45 mg if weight 80 kg to less than 90 kg. 50 mg if weight more than 90 kg. All teplase. IV bolus followed by infusion to maximum dose of 100 mg over 90 minute plus heparin for 24 to 48 hours. If not using a special programmable syringe driver. Draw up 50 mg of all teplase into each of two 50 ml syringes. Give an IV 15 mg bolus from the first syringe. Infuse 50 mg, the entire contents of the second syringe, over 30 minute, using an infusion pump. Infuse the remainder of the first syringe, 35 mg, over the next 60 min. For patients less than 65 kg give a 15 mg 4 bolus then 0.75 mg per kg over 30 minute and then 0.5 mg per kg over 60 minute. Reti place. Double IV bolus of 10 unit plus 10 unit given 30 minute apart plus heparin for 24 to 48 hours. Reti place is not adjusted for weight. Streptokinus. Infusion of 1.5 million units over 1 hour. Heparin is not required, but may be given. Dilute the contents of a 1.5 million unit vial in 10 ml of 5% dextrose. Add this to a further 50 ml of 5% dextrose in a 60 ml infusion pump syringe. Run at 1 ml minute. Low molecular weight heparin. Give 30 mg enoxaprin as an IV bolus. Omit in patients more than 75 years. Also give 1 mg per kg of enoxaprin subcutaneously. Reduce this dose to 750 mcg kg in patients more than 75 years. Unfractionated heparin. Give 5000 units of unfractionated heparin as an IV bolus. Continue with a heparin infusion for a minimum of 24 hours. Infuse at 1250 units hours initially. The clotting time, activated partial thromboplastin time or APTT, should be measured within 12 hours and the heparin infusion adjusted to keep the value at twice normal. These doses should be adjusted for patients with a low body weight less than 60 kg. Contraindications to thrombolytic therapy Absolute contraindications Known coagulation defects or bleeding diathesis Recent hemorrhage, significant trauma or surgery, including dental extraction 
hemorrhagic stroke or stroke of unknown causation at any time, ischemic stroke in last six months, history of central nervous system, CNS, damage, aneurysm or neoplasm, intracranial surgery or significant head injury within last three weeks, severe uncontrolled hypertension, acute pericarditis or bacterial endocarditis, active pulmonary disease with cavitation, aortic dissection, active peptic ulceration, gastrointestinal bleeding within last four weeks, acute pancreatitis, severe liver disease, oesophageal varices, visceral neoplasm with increased risk of bleeding, heavy vaginal bleeding, coma, previous allergic reaction to drug, streptokinus, Cautions relative contraindications, balance risk benefit for each patient. Current oral anticoagulant therapy. Recent non-compressible arterial or central venous puncture sites. Traumatic resuscitation. TIA in last 6 months. Diabetic retinopathy, small risk of bleeding only, so not a major contraindication. Hypertension. Systolic BP more than 180 mmHg. Abdominal aortic aneurysm. Geniturinary, GU, bleeding in last 10 days. Pregnant or less than 1 week postpartum. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel.